Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 21st of 2023. Well, it is titled Fleming's Triangular Wisp. So what do we see here? Well, this is actually a portion of the Veil Nebula, which is part of a supernova remnant. Now, a supernova can occur at the end of the life of a star when a star explodes and expels material out into space, and it will continue to expand. How long will it be visible? Well, the light from this supernova was likely reached Earth 5,000 years ago. That would have been when we would have seen the star explode. And for those 5,000 years, this material has been expanding outward in space. So still visible after this time. However, it's expanding to a very large size. So to see the entire nebula would be very difficult to do. And in fact, the entire nebula is now about three degrees across in the sky. How big is that? Well, that would be about six full moons. So imagine six full moons side by side, and that would be about how big this has expanded over those 5,000 years. So you can think about how massive that explosion is to expel material out over that great of a distance. How big is it? Well, the wisp here that we're looking at is about 30 light years across. So 30 light years that this has been able to expand to such a distance from the size of a star in just a few thousand years. So it's really expanding outward. And we can kind of see the shock wave at the edge as it's striking other material within the interstellar medium. So you can see all those twists and tangles as it interacts with other material. Now, as it does this, it is carrying new material out into the stars. When a star explodes, it creates the new heavier elements, anything other than hydrogen or helium, which were formed at the Big Bang. The others are all now expanding out into space. And in fact, supernovae is are one way that we get these heavier elements expelled back into space to form future generations of stars. So a system like our own solar system forming about 5 billion years ago was originally material. Some of that came from things like this from supernovae like this that then became part of the material between the stars that formed into uh, dark nebulae and dark uh, clouds that would then form future generations of stars, including our own solar system. So if we think about that much of the material such as the carbon in our bodies, and the oxygen that we breathe was once part of a supernova like this many, many billions of years ago. So that was our picture of the day for November 21st of 2023. It was titled Fleming's Triangular Wisp. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.